This is Theodoro, and I'm about to have my hardest and most intense E4 game yet. Over the course of this video, I'm going to be attacked by everyone, from Poland to Lithuania to Crimea, and even the Ottomans twice. Some wars we lose, but some we actually manage to scrape out just a, a tiny little victory. Much to the shock of the live streaming audience, and also me, and, well, anyone else with eyes, I guess? It, it, <laughs> it's very close each time. But what is the aim of this campaign? EU4 Winds of Change has given Theodora an all new mission tree, culminating in a unique Casus Belli, as well as some unique bonuses. And boy am I a sucker for nations that say, I'm not like other nations. If you too are subject to the same affliction as me, make sure to like the video and subscribe, and together we can try and get help. Also, right now and during the recording of this video, I was horrendously ill, so uh, forgive any sort of cough, splutters, uh, mild nausea. That's all common when watching a live video. <laughs> so, Theodoro, let's have a look at this brand new mission tree. Right at the end, we have this thing called the Gothic Invasion. Which is kind of cool because we have the Gothic Invasion Casus Belli, which is a new cast like special little Casus Belli, as well as it's kind of like the Mughals insofar as when you own different cities like Vienna, Prague, Cologne, Aachen, and Lubeck, you get different bonuses, which is very, very cool. So uh, that's what we're going to be trying to do as much of this as possible today. So to start with, we either have to rival Genoa or ally them. And I don't know. My brain's really not th like at a hundred percent right now, so yeah. But the game does want me to fight the Crimean oppressors and ally this lot. We might be able to get an alliance over here with Crimea. Sorry, with uh, the Great Horde because they rivals Crimea. Also, Novgorod, weirdly enough. Huh? And Georgia. There's a weird coalition we might be able to put together. Huh, okay, we can get Trebizond to be our ally. In ties with the Komnenos, we could ally Trebizond, which is going to make them be our vassal, hopefully. Black Sea Fleet is going to give us uh, Black Sea Fleet Doctrine for a little while. That's nice. That's a little bit of trade. Covenant claims over here. Or we could be friends with Genoa. Let's be friends with the Genoese, maybe? What do you reckon? Are we friends with them or are we not? Hmm. This is gonna this is gonna be a hard campaign, I think. <laughs> so unfortunately we have Italian coastal influence. Uh, ever since our, our rulers invited the Italians to the Black Sea, our ports have been filled with foreign merchants all seeking to make a fortune. Which is a bit rough for us. I think I'm gonna try conquering them. Alright, let's rival them. We're gonna rival both Genoa and also Crimea. We're gonna try and get ourselves an alliance with Theodoro, or with the, sorry, with Trebizond. And I think Georgia as well. And if I can, the Great Horde. I don't know how possible this is going to be. I don't know how possible this is going to be. We'll try. Might take a couple of restarts. I'm not going to lie to you. So I have this recruit foreign general thing, which is quite cool. So trust needs to be at least 70. It's already 58. We're, we're, we're doing pretty well already. As the gift of God, Theodoro. Ah, is that what Theodoro means? That's so cool. Huh. Alright, let's actually put some of these things in. I'll start with the clergy, Ely Patriarch Authority. Patriarch Authority is real good for us. We need that as well. I'm also going to do this because that equilibrium is really low. Right, Council, Supremacy, and let's get the mill power from them. The rest of this, I think, is all pretty standard. Number of allies, at least three, is probably the best we can do. Let's get this. Nice little bit of starting cash. I mean, we do start with a fleet, which is nice. We also start in debt, which is not not so nice, really. We could, if I can get, if I can get the Great Horde in, or Muscovy actually. All right, so I'm just securing my position first, because if I can somehow bring Muscovy, the Great Horde, and Georgia in this war against Crimea, we'll be in a really good place. So the cool thing about uh, Theodora at the start is we have a just conqueror and apparently a navigator who's a 254 and our heir is a 345 who's one. So that's a great start, really. You, you, can't, you can't ask for better. Well, you could, but you'd be very greedy. But it's a great start. I'm sad I don't have a fort. Oh, great. That's, that's a fun start. All right, we're closing in on getting the Muscovite Alliance, which is nice. Yeah, I'm on... We're on zero, and come on, please. 
Thank you. Right, that should be the Muscovite Alliance done. Which actually puts us in a really nice place. Oh dear, I'm gonna get called into that, aren't I? Right, Russian aristocracy. So we can get five patriarchal authority. They're gonna get five patriarchal authority. Huh. But we'll lock to the Russian alliances tree. Alternative, I get at least 20 regiments. I get Restoration Union Kasabalai on the highest developed Russian monarchy. Yeah, I don't I don't want to do that. I want to fight them. <laughs> so I'm not gonna click this. Because yeah, I, I, I want I want I want it. <laughs> so we're not gonna click this. So we need a five thousand army duh, 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 insult them. That should be fine as well. Alright, we've allied the Great Horde. We're in a, a nice place. Insult that lot and grab another thousand troops. Kind of nice. Yeah, the issue is that's gonna sit there for a while. It's really gonna annoy me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get permanent claims and we're also gonna get some galleys. That's nice. Dealing with the Italians, cool, question of Azov. So, we need to gear up to fight Crimea. Okay, so now we need to curry favors. I'm gonna curry it with the on first so then I can get them as a vassal. And let's curry it with Muscovy. So we need 10 from Muscovy. That should be enough. I just wanna make sure we win this first war. The issue is I'm assuming the Great Horde, yeah, the Great Horde wants some of this land. Oh, I didn't show off the uh, Theodoran ideas. Well, this is what they are. So, when we start, we get yearly army tradition decay minus 1%, which is kind of bad. Global trade power plus 10%, which is okay. Muster maintenance, which is actually uh, underrated. I think it's quite good. Chance of New Year, which is stupid. Diplomatic reputation, I wish this was plus 2, but it's plus 1, which is not great. Trade efficiency plus 10%, which is okay. Port defense 25% is good. Tax 10%, okay. Tolerance through faith, kind of bad. And discipline plus five percent, very good. So uh, all in all, it's it's okay uh, as focus trees go. What are you doing? Great Horde conquest of Circassia. That's that's not going to be fun. Come on. So the issue is obviously I'm going to have to decline this, but I want to see if I can get Trevor's on first. No, I'll just I just I, I'll just about not have enough. Yeah, now look, the trust has gone down. Hmm. Ah, oh, that sucks. The issue is Trevor's going to be killed here. Which, which is, yeah, that's not fun. They would get an event otherwise. Come on, come on, just don't die. We'll get you out of this, buddy. Dude, it's so, it's... Oh, it's so over. The dream is dead, and I killed it. I will not restart in, chaps. I would never restart. Let's go, come on. 42%. Hold, boys. Hold. Hold. Just, just hold out. The king's dead. That's unfortunate. One, improve relations, stay on target. Oh god, now George's getting taken out by the Great Horde. The Great Horde are uh, going for it. What a terrifying start to the game. Theodora, my beloved hold. Trevazon, you got this, buddy. Come on, just give me the curry famous faster. There's no way they don't get annexed. There's no way it's gone to 0%. No, it's on 40%. Come on, hold. You got this. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Just hold that a little bit longer, like literally like... Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, they just got pieced out. They just got pieced out normally. Oh my god, this is... What a spectacular day it is today. What a beautiful day. The Ottomans just didn't eat them. Okay, we're good. Life's good. Everything's fine. Whew. The issue is the Great Horde. But I don't, I don't really want to expand into the Great Horde. I, I want to use them against Poland-Lithuania. That's the plan. Okay, so I'm thinking here, to be honest, that... I don't, dude, I'm not thinking. My brain's kind of gone numb. I want Great Horde and Muscovy to help me against Poland-Lithuania. So this might sound strange. But what if going after Lithuania first is the idea? You know? We get a claim, like, on here. Because if I take lands in Crimea, the Great Horde will want nothing to do with me. So I think what we do is declare war in Lithuania with Russian and Great Horde help. This could be a, a massive big brain play. This could be the largest brain play you'll ever see. This is either smooth brain or, or absolutely huge. I, 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 it's too early to tell which. Okay, so let's get the claim first. And then we have that as an option. Damn, everyone's got claims on this. Check this out. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's keep current favors with you lot then. 
But 21,000 men from the Great Horde. 30 to 40,000 men off of Muscovy. That's 70,000 men. We must drop about 5. I, I just wanted to include myself in the uh, measurements there. We don't really matter. But I think that goes well. Okay, no way. It's the truth of Georgia. I'm surprised Georgia's alive. Oh. Oh. They are alive, but to, to what extent? Okay, that's enough with Muscovy. Let's just do the same with the Great Horde. Oh, we could just do it almost massively. Let's see. Oh, that is tempting. Oh, that is so tempting. We have the numbers. That is that is very much tempting. People are like saying, do it, do it, do it. Hmm, I'll say first. If we could rush down the poles first, we'll be fine. We are going to be killed, though. That, like, that's a shame. But we are going to be killed. I can't imagine we're going to be doing too much in this war. All right, here we go. Whew. Let me set everything as a promise of interest, even though they won't give it to me. Because why not? I'm doing this, by the way, just because I want to be able to run around and loot everything. <laughs> we're not exactly the richest nation, are we? Uh, might as well do this to Doev. And that to Gotland, even though we can't make it to either of those. All right, off we go. Immediately, our navy's been caught. And we've been trapped. Run, boys. <laughs> this is fine. The only issue is I have to take this province, so... It's worth risking death to take this province. Okay, good. Because I won't be able to take it. Wait, does that... That's a port, right? Yeah, cool. Oh, God. Wait, where's my dog in here? How did she get in? Millie? Come here. That's fine. <laughs> it's a screen too. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, that's me dead. Yep, that's... Oh, my God, they decided not to kill me. Well, all right, then. Okay, they are handing things over to me, which is nice. All right. We need to start taking some of these forts whilst they're up north. Because I need to try and... If I can get through here, there are no forts in between us and, uh, you know, a place like Krakow. Please flip to me. Don't you dare. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Nice. Oh, great. I love that event. <laughs> However, we can't let Moscow fall. Like, Moscow fall. That would be really bad. To fit any of these forts falling would be a terrible, terrible thing. It's telling me I have unassigned merchants. There's nothing I can do with them. All right, I guess just transfer tribe power. All right, stay with me. Oh my god, we won that? Okay, sweet. This is fine. All right, just win this siege and we might be able to stop that one. Please, go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. How many have we got here? 3,000, my 5,000, and Georgia, 4,000. Okay, 12,000 troops. I'm going to try and bait these guys off of the fort here. I think I can do that if I just do this. Yep, okay, so I'm going to die here, but we do get them all off of all of the sieges. Which is good, that's the plan. Oh no, they, they won that siege dam. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna attack Moscow here and just hope. Nope, they. Uh, they okay. Right, I, I. Screw it. I'm gonna sit back and just allow everything to happen now. There's. there's I, I tried. I tried to liberate Moscow and they said no. The issue is that Moscow's capital is, is now uh, sieged because of pretender rebels. That's real bad because they're on medium. If they peace out, I'm dead. To be clear. Okay, plan now is to get as much war score against Poland as possible before the Muscovites peace out. And they will peace out. Krakow's under siege, that's actually ideal because that'll push them down to medium. <laughs> oh no, Muscovy's on low! Dude, these pretender rebels have come at a really bad time for me. How far off of peace? 24, yeah, no way. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is bad. Dude, the Muscovites are going to peace out literally any second. Don't siege down the vassal, man. Please, look, 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 look. Siege us down. Okay, how many have we got? 6,000, that's 9,000. Poland's close to being down on low. The Muscovites already are on low. I'm surprised the Muscovites are still fighting, to be honest. Once the Poland gets on low... Yeah, that's not good. Okay, how many men we got here? Okay. I don't know that there's much I can do now. How many men do we have here? We've got 3,000 plus R, 7,000. Okay. Hmm. Alright. What? Where did you come from? Come on. I need this to fall. That's not good. Or is it very good? I don't know what's going on anymore. This war has baffled me. Come on, Poland. Look, just you don't want to be in this war anymore. I can, you're so tired. Where's the Great Horde? They just didn't help. Oh my god. Yeah, Great Horde real. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just drop it down to low. Just drop it down to low. One more month, one more month. 
All right, Pollen's on low. I need a little bit more wall score from. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try something, and hope they don't, you know, kill me. Because what I need is wall score, right? A little bit of wall score. I could take. I could take ten percent off of um, Pollen. That's not good. That's also not good. But I can do that. <laughs> Get the boys out of there. We're wondering, late. What are you doing right now? I need ten percent wall score against the poles. Oh, that's not good. They've gone back up. Oh, I was greedy. I was too greedy. Oh, I was so greedy. Why am I so greedy? Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, we're going to have to go back a couple months. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. So I need I need, I need uh, 10 percent war score, to be clear, so I can get some money against them. Like, it's this siege that needs to, you know, lose. There we go. I get war operations and a little bit of money. Or I get them to not be allies in Lithuania anymore. I think I'm going to do that. There we go. And I think on this front, I think we do need to peace out. The main issue is I, I don't know where the, the Great Horde troops are. <laughs> yeah, there's some here. Uh, I'm going to cut our level privileges. Because I feel like money is going to be more of an issue for us. So I think I'm going to maybe go for Kiev. Because that's quite a good province like that i think this is the best i'm gonna get really which is a shame all right let's call these provinces and let's get this trust up bang so now i should be able to do this yes oh god i didn't even see the ottomans are over here oh this is bad this this is this is bad this game has got a cool new flag Ooh. oh no Oh boy, that's oh that's so bad, dude. That locks me out of my mission tree, kind of. Oh, how? When did this happen? Why is Biz still alive exactly? Moldavia's dead. Oh boy, what? The, what? England? England? Did England win? But then they're losing to Burgundy. Huh? <coughs> Sorry, I have to. I have to double check because um, I'm running a kind of high fever right now. I'm not feeling very well at all. What is going on? I hate this timeline reset. Oh, me too, buddy. Me too. Here's the thing. Do you think that if I fight Crimea, because I could probably beat him 1v1, maybe. Do you think if I fight Crimea that the Great Horde will give them access? He shouldn't do because he's rival to this lot, but... You never know. So in six years, we could just sit steady for six years and then fight Lithuania. With the help of the boys. I think that's probably a better idea. Because I'm going to have rebels and stuff to clean up. I'm taking out loans to pay off our own loans. Welcome. Okay. So. We have plus 200 relations with Trebizond. We're bigger than them. Maybe we have to have a bigger army? Let's try. So. We click the event. Okay, and they just did it. Right, so it maybe was uh, just... Oh, wow, 643, Scantarios. Such a cool name. I think it might have just been that then. Okay, cool. Gothia Ascendant. <laughs> we're trying, man. Oh, beautiful. And they've allied France. So if I were to attack Genoa right now, I would be fighting Austria, Castile, France, Aragon, Venice, Cyprus, Salzburg, Württemberg, Landshut. Sounds great. Hello, Cogs. How you doing, buddy? Do you, you want 32 sailors? Yeah, okay. Okay, idea groups. Uh, I want to go military first. I think that's what makes most sense with what we got going on here. The guy's got a five in his ability. It's just what to go for. What? I just released you. Oh, don't do this to me. Uh, I'm going to have to do this immediately. Because otherwise someone's going to support his independence. Yeah, I, I think it is offensive. I think it's a good idea. Okay, so we can call them both in. I reckon we wait five years and go after the uh, Lithuanians. I think it's a good shout. Poland's fighting the Teutons, who will hopefully bring in a couple of people. Nah. That's inconvenient. I oh, with Kazan. Is it just Kazan? Because we kind of have to help him. Is it just Kazan? He's, Kazan's going to call in Crimea. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that's happening. <laughs> that's how I can get to him. Okay. Damn, you guys really don't like me, huh? Alright, screw it. We're going all the way around. I'm your only ally. Oh boy, uh, I'm gonna go for a tactical reload. 
Uh, fortunately, my, uh, my, my king has the diviner trait, so you can see ahead of time what's going to happen. Be honorable. Mm -mm. No. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway. I imagine trust is not my strong... Yep, trust is not exactly at its highest right now. How long does clerical dominance last for? I've never seen the AI cut off another AI like that. That's kind of rough. Oh, two days. All right, this has been this has been a rather rather hard start to the game. All right, we're gonna find more allies, even though I've betrayed every ally I've, I've ever had. Who would ally me? Byzantium. That's not a good start. Uh, Ryzan, you're basically dead. So Cassia, you are also basically dead. Novgorod, also basically dead. Yeah, there's no one. It's um, it's Muscovy or nothing. So we've got to make sure the Muscovites win at all costs. We cannot abandon the Muscovites. You know, like like we've abandoned everyone else. Uh, right, we need to do some of the Cossacks here. Self-governance. Cossack leaders. The Crimean truce with us ended. The fact that we don't have any claims on Crimea is a little bit weird. Why do the Venetians have Constantinople? The Venetians have Constantinople. Why, why, do, why do the Venetians have Constantinople? That's a very good question. Uh, I'm going to be honest, lads. This is a very cursed timeline. The F English beat the French, then lost to the Burgundians. Tlemcen has most of North Africa. Morocco is basically dead. I think Tlemcen now losing to Tafliat. Let me have a look at this. Tlafliat is allied to the Iberian powers. Venice is owned by the uh, the uh, sorry Constantinople by the Venetians. I, I don't I don't frankly what, what else has been going on over there? The Timurids are gone. They've disappeared. I don't know quite what to make of this, but okay. It's a weird game, and that's okay. We are bordering the Ottomans in two separate directions. Yeah, I don't know what we can do here. That's, we will try. No, we, we bought, bought the Ottomans three ways because of uh, Trebizond. Oh, man. Okay, so we've got to be ready for this. Switch for independence. That's a brilliant, brilliant timing for us. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. So, plan is we're going to fight Kazan after this. Maybe. I don't know. Or we'll vassalize the Great Horde or something. If I can get access to them, I'll vassalize them. This, this is good. This is good. This is good. Is Georgia free yet? Um, I mean, that's what you define as free. Why do you have so much debt? Huh? Enemy allies? Castile is the defender of the Catholic faith. <laughs> what? I think that killed this. I don't. I don't know. Castile is the defender of the Catholic faith. Castile is the defender of the Catholic. Like, what do I even do? <laughs> like, what can I do? <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. Uh, what I need to... I don't... Do we attack the Cord? Um, I can't attack Crimea because they're allied to, you know, Christendom. I can't attack anyone Catholic because of Castile. So they're going to go and ally each other again. I need to switch Catholic somehow. Can you attack yourself? Honestly, it feels like it. Attack Genoa. Let me show you what happens when I attack Genoa. That's the worst possible move in this scenario. The worst possible move is to attack uh, Crimea. Closely follow, like follow closely by, the, by this. I mean, that's not actually terrible numbers. Castile doesn't have that many troops. But I need Muscovy to be okay with what's going on. Ah, and I was going to attack Genoa, uh, sorry, um, Georgia, because I had a board with them, but that's also no longer a thing. But I can do this. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to declare war, because I have to do something, on Circassia. Take their land, then we're going to declare war on the Great Horde. Trebizond has a lot of claims. So that's good. That's as far as I've gone right now. That's, yep, that's, as, that's literally as far as I've gone. Okay, this is, this is fine. Are you, are you landing troops on me? That's embarrassing. Alright, what I need is access from literally anyone. What I'm not getting is access from literally anyone. So how do I get to Circassia? This is this is a, ah, there we go. That'll do. It. This is this is good. This is fine. Um. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. The uh, Akuni is gonna take them. Oh, this is bad. Where's my truce? September. Okay, so they need to not die until September. Then I can declare war on them, and then I'll have something left to vassalize. Is the idea. <laughs> there was one month left and I can't do it anymore. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna, 
<laughs> this is it. This is the worst game. It's the worst one ever. It's so bad. Oh, this is all I had. This was my only... This is my only play. Do we vassalize Circassia? Do we just annex the Or do we just take this province? How is Muscovy a thousand ducats in debt? The, 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 the Castilians, they're not, they're not doing it anymore. Why do you have so much debt? I'm just going to take the province, man. I want to expand a little bit. Uh, vassalize to rebuild later. Screw it. Yeah, all right. Fine. We'll vassalize them. Oh, this is going to be fun. There you go. Theodore and Vassal. They, they say no. I should have got influence ideas, man. Crimea declared war on the Great Horde. <laughs> uh, they're going to immediately... All of my vassals are going to immediately revolt. I'm not strong enough to have this many vassals. <laughs> this is a bad place to be. Why did I listen to you? You guys don't know what you're talking about. Declare war on AQ. Yeah, let me see what's going to happen if I do that. Ah, yes, the Ottomans. Or what needs to happen now is Muscovy needs to, to like to pay off its loans and not be a parasite. And then we could be we could have been fighting Lithuania this entire time, a weakened Lithuania, I might add. But instead he's declaring his own wars like a selfish bastard. Like you're in so much debt, stop declaring wars so I can abuse that. Some people, honestly. So, yeah, that wasn't gonna last long, was it? Constantinopoli was not gonna last long. Go to Astrakhan. And do what? Like, just going there is not going to help me do anything. I am weak. I am very, very weak. We don't really have too much going on right now. Must be not having money is, is, is bad. Like, because we can go in against Lithuania right now. Whilst they're, like, distracted. Whilst they don't have allies. Like, we could, whilst they don't have, the, you know, the Polish lines. We could go in. But, uh, unfortunately, that's, that's not happening. The issue is that Sweden's going to get out of this war and they're going to be so ready to fight the Muscovites and we're going to get our asses kicked again. There we go, as I, as I predicted, as I said it. Oh boy. What if they broke the AQ alliance? Do you think they'd break it? They didn't break the... Um, the what the, the... Okay, Purge was formed. They did not break the AQ Ottoman alliance. If anything, I think they, they, they managed to strengthen it somehow. And they're also allied to Persia. <laughs> we are screwed. Oh... <sighs> <laughs> One thing's gone well. One thing's gone well. That could have been so bad. They can't finish off the war because of the uh, Livonian Order's navy. Oh, they just did. Give me, just give me a second, please. trouble today all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it's time for us to fight off the crimean horde he's take five we'll get take six soon if we could rush down this fort it'd be ideal the issue is he's probably gonna call in his uh his buddies i don't have to death with the crimeans honestly it's fine what i really need is this a renaissance but for whatever reason the crimeans got it before me yeah, there you go, that's no guy. Can't afford that right now. Okay, I'm on. All right, we won the Siege of Crimea. No point doing that. Also, no point fighting this. They're quite a heavy. All right. It's going to cost me a couple of ducats to embrace the Renaissance, which we're going to do now. And we're going to take all these techs. And we're going to switch out, even though it's not going to matter. And we're going to go fight the Crimeans ASAP. All right, let's set our subjects to supportive. That's good. Okay. What we're going to do now is rush down no guy. Cuz it's a weak four. Ours is is protected. Okay. Provided he doesn't get Kazan in here, we'll be okay. God, look at the siege. Siege no guys already done. All right, I'm going to see if we can grind out a little bit of war score here. Cuz that is going to need 9k and they don't have 9k. I'll wait, I'll get all these sieges to finish first. And then we'll start heading back over. Make sure this is high still. There we go. Alright, give me war operations and money. <sighs> we can't be the Ottomans. That we can't do. Which is a shame. We had a shot, man. I was I believed for a second. Ah! 
Did he call in allies to this? He called in Agkiyunlu. Oh, I'm playing too fast, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, give me a sec. I want to reload to the... I did say it was going to be the last reload, but I want to reload to, like, before... Like, playing it at speed 5. Because I already lost a couple of troops by just marching in by mistake. Okay, so we're going to surrender the Ottomans. Nothing I can do. <laughs> So Cassie switched sides. <laughs> so I lost my vassals, unfortunately. But not my fighting spirit. The Plexi fleet. Wait, creates a level one center trade in Theodoro, but it's Theodoro isn't ours. <laughs> no! <laughs> there you go. Bro lost his homeland. Temporarily, it's a temporary setback. I only lost three provinces to the Ottomans. So if you think about it, I'm I'm coming out of this on top. Because we also, this way we're going to get back our Circassian vassal. See? So realistically, we're okay. <laughs> we're coming back, boys! We're going to become a weaker version of Crimea. No, I'm not. I'm telling you now we're coming back. Are we in a debt spiral? Yes. Is that going to stop us? No. Crimean oppressors. There you go. Everything is fine. Go about your day as normal. Theodora went to Crimea. Yes! Are we still... Uh, the Great Horde is my vassal? No, they're a tributary state. Huh. Okay. I was hoping that they would be dead. Alright, so now we can ally the Muscovites again. So we have some semblance of protection. The Great Horde is our vassal. <laughs> okay. Or tributary. I don't know that we're able to repay our debts. We could have, but I just, I forgot to. I forgot to do it properly. Financially, we're actually okay. Financially, we're only 90 in debt. I don't know how we are, but we're actually, we're fine. Okay. So here's the plan. We need to fight off the Crimean uh, rebels, right? That's going to be hard. Or is it? I'm just going to allow them to go over to the uh, Genoese and the Ottomans. That's the play on that front. We need to fight against Kazan with Muscovite help. That has to happen. This will, this is going to be great. Oh, this is, this is it's going to do so well. Our vassals are all loyal, apart from the ones that aren't. They're allied to Poland again. And Muscovy still... How is the deck getting worse, Muscovy? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? What? Oh, they want to cry. What, did, what do you mean? What did he mean by this chat? He broke it off with me again. Oh my god. Truly one of the allies of all time. Alright. I can't get the free company until 76. I might have to bring in some other... Some others, really. What did Genoa mean by... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Right, we're dead to be clear, but I'll do what I can. Okay, got a 2-6 we're going to use. I just have one question for you, chat. Do you believe? Do you believe? No, <laughs> Every, everyone's, everyone's saying no, all right. Okay, I need his troops to spread out. So, we're going to lay a little trap for him. Uh, we're going to need money. Okay. I need to ask my ideas what's rocking this, bro. I, I hate you. Okay, so I would potentially survive this if I had to surrender. I'm going to take a save if I have to surrender now, but I'm not going to reload it because I'm not going to die. You'll see. You'll all see. You're, you're doubting me. I'm not going to lie. I can't see. Uh, I, I, am, I am feeling very delirious right now, so I'm, I'm not sure what, I, what I'm seeing is even real. I dare as I want to put them on this Crimea fort and then hit them from there. Okay, this is what we're looking for. This is opportunity. Great. Recruitment time plus 30%. Just need... I need Circassia to help here. I think we win these. If Circassia helps, I think we win. I am going to reload, but like, to be fair, I am being... I am being attacked by everyone. And he's one on 7% every time, which is unfortunate for me. Second reload after the last reload. Brother, I have been attacked by the Ottomans, Lithuania, Genoa, Crimea. Muscovies have batted me twice. What do you want me to do here? Huh? What's, what's the idea? Bro keeps on winning on like 
on uh, on oh, he called in <laughs> he called in the polls he called in the polls so I'll deal with me <laughs> oh it's too good it's too good oh uh, there's actually nothing I could do I don't I don't I'll try and find it but I'm pretty sure I've lost this yeah he calls in the polls I can't I can't deal with the polls man okay right. Let's let's surrender to the Lithuanian. Uh, oh God, there's there's nothing I could do to fight this. Well, that's not true, strictly speaking. I'll give it a go. All right, screw it. We'll give it a go. I have the save, but I'll I'll try and I'll try and I'll try and fight it. I could win this war for six months. After that, uh, there's nothing I can do. Sound like the Japanese in World War Two. Probably losing about ten. Yeah, ten ducats a month. Okay, so the polls coming in is bad. What the only thing I can do with polls is siege down some territory here and then sit on their capital and hope that's you know that does it. Yeah, they're chasing me down. Uh, who's did he call in? Oh, it's okay. Crimean separatists. That's not ideal. I am kind of hoping that they'll just let me have this. If I get some insane ticks here, there's a chance I can get out. That still won't help me, per se. It's not a core, so I can't I can't put defenses on it. Let's take the loans out now, because they're going to start lowering my loan limit when they take territory off me. Yeah, your boy's going to go bankrupt before I can do anything about this. Might fight the rebels? They will fight the rebels. Yeah, they're coming. It has to knock them down to at least medium for me to have a chance of piecing them out, is the issue. Yeah, they won't do it. Ugh. Ten war score that. If they take Crimea, it's over for me. Okay, a couple of options now. Okay, what's this for? Chokasi. Yeah, it's a fort. Okay. I don't know what to do. Um, if they take this fort, it's over, right? So that's that's the first thing. I can't fight that many troops. It's just Polish troops. That's the thing. Do you know it's here? <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yeah, I think this is already lost. We had a good go, though. It's a shame I couldn't get Poland. If I could have gotten Poland's piece out. I mean, they're on negative five. Uh, if they're on negative five, I'll try something. Why not? I'll try something here. Ugh. This is rough. Scorchoth does not cause war exhaustion, I'm afraid. Negative seven now. I don't know how it's getting worse. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do, really. They're just going to keep winning that over and over again. If I if I like could piece them out, we'd be like we'd be in the money, to a degree. But realistically, this is the extent to what I can do, and it's enough. That'll keep me afloat for a little while. Okay, fifteen thousand troops. <laughs> the Genoans being here kind of complicates things. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm gonna have to reload because I didn't want to fight this. Oh my god, yes I did. There's a- there's a chance? There's a chance? There's a chance, boys. Oh my god. There's a chance! The dream yet lives! That's not really not ideal. That's not what we want to be fighting. Alright, we might have to go all in here. Okay, I don't- I think he's trapped. Where are you gonna go from here? Kuban? I know where you're going. You're gonna go across here, aren't you? <laughs> If there, if there is any luck, okay, right, nah. I was about to say, if he settles there. Alright, so what we need to do now is get the Genoese out of here. And I think we have to fight them. We fight the Genoese here. Hopefully beat them. They retreat, stack wipe them. The Genoese are gone. That's some lands unified there, boys. Come on! <laughs> Alright, and now we pray. And now we push. We do not have too, too long left of all this. Oh, are you winning? Kind of. All right, let's take a save here. Because if I push too far, I die. And we're losing a lot of money. Mastery mates is mastery discipline plus 5% for 10 years. Is very good, but I kind of need the money. Uh, we're going to take the discipline. Oh my god, I can't believe this is actually happening. I, I, uh, like, this is... Huh. We fought off Poland and Lithuania on our own at the same time as 
fighting off Genoa at the same just after having had to fight the Ottomans and being attacked by Crimea. Phenomenal. Throw down a war exhaustion to nothing. Come on, just win the siege. Oh, that's not ideal. Why would you attack me? Yeah, I know bankruptcy is looming. That's good. We get very unlucky with these sieges. Like, very, very unlucky. Because each month that takes past is a month I'm like more likely to go into bankruptcy. Okay. Let's start thinking about the peace deal here, chaps. I mean, that looks pretty good. How much are we in debt? So I can go to damn near bankruptcy here. So let's try and squeeze as many more months out of this as possible, huh? <sighs> like, we're not getting the capital in this war, but we'll get something. How long has this war been going on? Six years. Longest six years of my life. I think I accidentally repaid that loan. When I did not want to do that. This video has Lithuania deleted forts. It feels like they have. Because I think I can get 100% here. Yes, I can! Okay. They're taking war reparations that will help with our money situation. Take some more provinces. It does not get it better than this. We did it! Hell yeah! Oh man, what happened? Thought you were all non believers. Thought everyone was a non believer, chat. Huh? Oh, that feels good. Okay, we're going to cancel the tributary of the Great Horde. We're going to get alliances back with, uh, with Muscovy. <laughs> oh, man, that feels so good. The one positive is that the, like, the Mamluks are still alive. Well, the Ottomans have been kind of kept in check. All right, let's see what we do next. We're going to rival Kazan. No guy or Poland. Let's rival Lithuania. Screw it. I am shocked we are here. Whoa. Any good allies now you're bigger? I'm trying to get Austria. That's the plan, I think. Okay, well, let's do this. Burgers are going to switch over to indebted. Okay. Why are you with Kazan? Attack against Akunlin. The Kazani conquers Akunlin. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Well, we still have a truce with the Ottomans. They're going to attack me immediately when this happens, which is fun. But we have a truce until in five years. Yeah, ignore the inflation. <laughs> inflation doesn't exist. Worn by Lithuania. What could we do with that? Well, there's no one that I would attack that... <laughs> yeah, maybe the Great Horde? Yeah, okay. That's actually ideal. That's that's perfect. I'm trying to eke out a living for myself here. <laughs> that's a positive income. Uh, where's... Can I do the whole... Yeah, I could do Strong Duchies. Okay. I want to fight Kazan. They're only allied to Uzbek. And Uzbek's not great. I don't think... Oh, actually, they do have a lot of troops. They're still... A, they're even worse than that. What are you spending money on, man? Oh, okay, well, the English have been kicked out of France. That's normal, at least. Let's see what else is going on. Chagatai is formed. Or it's getting taken out by Korchin. Interesting. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, it's a fairly standard, weird game. British declared war on Austria. They cite succession war. And the Flemish succession war. Sure. Like, we're already stable. I don't know, what, what, what else is there to stabilize? Oh my god, you're a vassal of Kazan. Dude, Kazan's going a bit mad. So I was planning on trying to vassalize the Great Horde, but that's not happening. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is cancel this core. So I'm giving my, uh, my stuff back, because he's going to kill him. And then we're going to release it. So that's the hope, at least. Bakuyunlu is now a vassal of Kazan, which I did not expect. This is, this is super dynamic. It's a very interesting game, this. So I'm hoping that Kazan just... Oh, damn, dude, that's that's my that's my good general. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, good. Okay, I'm hoping he just annexes them. He didn't. Why? What did you do instead? What did you do? Are you warning me? Kazan are warning Theodora. Ah! That means I need to call this. Oh, I was hoping to release them. It's a shame. So the ones get bigger. Did not like that. Let's see the Ottomans doing a thing on me. Don't like that either. All right, we're going to go for some decentralized. Actually, no. This represents as a crown. Okay, so we're losing a lot of money. Choose the Poland's over. And you're fighting against Bohemia. Isn't Bohemia under the Austrians? Austria, why didn't you just take Bohemia? They just, they just didn't? Austria, man. Austria has nothing. Are you even the emperor? You are. Why would you not take Bohemia as a person union? Oh, boy. 
kind of tempted to get rid of some of these forts, although they have saved my life in, in times past. Brittany, accept peace. Austria is now starting to build something out there. France is also not doing, is, is doing well. Now Kazan's gone against no guy. This is, this is rough. What we need is Muscovy to not be in debt. And then we use this lot and go in. But unfortunately, Uzbek is big. And also, unfortunately, our good general is dead. But we have a 5-5. So, life isn't too bad. Yeah, they just won't give me uh, any sort of alliances. So in two years, the Ottomans are going to kill me. That's the problem. <laughs> I have no good routes of expansion. <sighs> like, why are you building troops when you have a debt? Just, you need to chill, Muscovy, man. Cool. Well, that's with any rival. So what were the odds that that wouldn't happen, you know? 16,000. Oh, God, I did not realize it was going to be 16,000. Okay. Uh, we are going to need some more troops. Cool. Please give me a development one. Not that one. Oh, chaps, I don't know. Polaravi, maybe an arrival of theirs would ally you. Uh, the issue is that the Ottomans want to kill me, and the Muscovites are useless. Like, this is probably the we like the weakest Muscovite I've ever seen, ever. But like, this isn't unique to this DLC. This is this is very strange. I've gone very unfortunate here. Okay, now we can get rid of these. Okay. Whew, Okay. Rough start. Rough start. Just console command a few thousand for Muscovites. I mean, that feels a bit a bit of a strap a uh, step too far. Ugh. Okay, so we can't ally anyone, really. Crete. We could ally Crete, I guess. For no guy who are getting trounced. So his debt is still so bad, man. They both come in on me if I did this. Okay, I've got to wait for the warnings to expire, basically, and then fight the Great Horde. Vassalize them and then use them to fight uh, Kazan. Well, there's a chance the Ottomans attack at Yulu, not me. Although that's not a good sign. Okay, I want to get rid of these Kyivin lot. I'm going to do it now, actually. Revoke the revolt. Get rid of them. And then let's start actually making some money. Okay. Yeah, we're going to wait for the warnings to fade out, then attack the Great Horde. The warnings are 20 years. That's that's okay. That's okay. This guy's pretty good. Uh, your moral unity is kind of bad. Switching to the Sunni could be a shout, but that feels like against the spirit of the thing. Okay, so you are warning me 1501. And this one is 1502. So we've got a brief window where we can fight Kazan and Kazan only and just fight the Great Horde in about 20 years. So that's the plan. Kazan has 25,000 infantry and okay, so he's about 40,000. Kazan's hefty. But we might be able to deal with him if we have the Muscovites on side. Uh, and yeah, Muscovy decides not to join me again. <sighs> yeah. Albania has survived and also grown, and that's that's nice. I can't touch the Ottomans, man. They they have they got better ideas than I do. They got better everything, and it doesn't help that the Muscovites haven't joined me a single war. I mean, I'll do what I can, man. It's really all I can do. At this point, being betrayed by Muscovy is a tradition, honestly. All right, is he born else in? He's in Kaifa. All right, we're gonna try. Not a bad start. That's less good. But our troops are actually equivalent. We can't be trading uh, in equivalents, to be honest. And it's not like Lithuania. Like, these guys will just keep coming. So we do here. Is there anything else? No? Okay, right. That's good. That's good. Please stack one. Please, please. Okay, not quite. We defend our lands, boys. We defend our lands. Until the last Theodore has drawn breath. Okay, do not fight that. Will you give me access? No. I need the ability to run away. <laughs> right, we can't allow that to happen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't die. Don't die. Nice. Okay, that's good. Hoping for a discipline guy. We don't get one. I don't want to waste any more money on that. All right, keep pushing. Straight to the next one. Okay. Don't think we can take Ackerman. Ooh, actually. Actually. Can we catch him? No. Okay. We've got to land him on somewhere. Are you going? Where are you going? Ingil. Wait for him to lock in. Come on. Lock in. Lock in. All right. Push forwards. So we got minus two for the straight. That's good. 
Oh, that does look good. Oh, that does look good. Oh. How many loans do you have? I don't know. Uh, not that many, to be fair. It's a decent amount. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's kind of rough. Uh, we're actually going to grab war taxes. Okay, a 4-6 and 2 siege. Yes, please. Uh, I'm going to switch you guys out to aggressive, and then hopefully Kiev is going to go and fight his Nope, that's even more troops over there. Okay, yeah, we cannot allow that to stand. In fact, come back to being supportive. Oh, no, can't, can't allow that. Yeah, they've been stat wiped. That's not good. Yeah, here come the Ottomans. Dude, I can't even stack button. Please pause. Okay, fuller land is amazing. Most room manpower. Okay, I'm going to lose the 13 ducats. Fine. All right, that's ideal. That's not ideal. Dude, a military advisor right now would be phenomenal. Okay, the 4-6 is, is objectively better than what we have currently. Hoping, yeah, he doesn't reinforce that. That's good. Perfect. All right. And now we attack the 20k. Did he do something? Why are his troops better now? <sighs> okay. Manpower's running out. All right. He's going to get killed, unfortunately. We're going to have to fight that, unfortunately. We're going to lock in. We'll fight him in tin. Okay. This is stressful, man. Okay. We're getting close to where we could peace out. <sighs> He's still tech 7. He's not tech 8 yet. I'm actually going to do this. Screw the money. We need the uh, we need the tech. If we're lucky, we can get stack wipe. If we're lucky. Are we? Are we? We are. If that 2k should be trapped. Well, they're not bankruptcy. But they are on low, so... <sighs> okay. <laughs> There's no shot we do it again. I'm not going to lie. I was fully ready to surrender on this one. The Theodoran dream is real. Because I don't think I could take anything without taking a, a fort. I think we're going to get to diminishing ret returns real quick here. Did you get attacked or did you attack them? Oh my god. Just jump back up to high somehow. Ottomans are making gains. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Gone bankrupt. Okay. I don't... Yeah, I don't know if it... I, don't, I think we're going to hit diminishing returns. How, how are you winning against the Ottomans? Magic. Honestly, I don't even know, frankly. A keen sense of the divine, perhaps. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna reload. So that that December, we're actually we've actually done it. We've actually like genuinely done it. That is terrifying. The defensive wars are unparalleled. Right. Let's take back Theodoro. Uh, let's take some cash. We'll call it there. Bang. We lost ninety five thousand troops. We lost a good amount as well. Oh God. Look at our inflation. As much as I want to do this and take this, I think. I think we need to buy down inflation. We can pay off most of our loans. All right, well, let's just let's just do this. It has to happen at some point. Oh yeah, inflation cost reduction. I didn't do that, did I? Where's the inflation cost reduction one? Yeah, this. Okay, I'll uh, I'll read it. Okay, let's grab back Theodoro. Grab the cash and bounce. Then we need to. Inflation means nothing to me. I kind of wish I had those mercenary ideas, though. I'm not going to lie. Mercenary ideas, I think, would have been phenomenal for Theodora in this position. Why? Why you like this? I, I, know, I know this is getting cheap. But, like, at the same time, I feel like I've deserved... I, I've earned a little bit of... A little bit of, uh, of, of, of scummery here. Do that first, and then we peace out with the Ottomans. I've earned a little bit of scummery, chaps. Move the capital to Crimea, move the capital to Theodora. I mean, yeah, moving the capital is probably a good idea. Well, the having it there has actually kind of served as well. All right, improve relations with Hungary. Scornful insult over here. Fight some Orthodox rebels. All right, and now we have to hope that Muscovy... Wait, okay, do I ally... Do I ally the Muscovites and help them out against Kazan? Because I, I need to do something against Kazan, man. Otherwise, we're just kind of stuck here forever. It just, it doesn't get easier. Like, but why? Why? Well, come on. No, it's not fair. I had it. It was not. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Right, we'll take a save in case we need to. But like, oh, I think we get rid of the Navy because it's costing us almost a duck in a month. And then we just sort of see where we go from there. Oh. Okay, the numbers are bad. He's taking quality ideas as well, and his, his troops will be better than mine. 
His troops would be a lot better than mine. And I just got rid of my uh, my mercenaries. We'll give it a go, but I think I need to reload this one. Okay, can get tech eight. Let's just buy down the inflation now. I think, although that's going to put them in a dangerous place. <sighs> okay, this is going to be rough. It's called in Sweden, and he's hanging around. So that's a bit of a problem. I don't want to fight that. Not just yet, anyway. We need to get out of this war as quickly as possible, pretty much. Ooh. I don't have the manpower for this, man. I really don't. Nothing I can do to get extra manpower. I don't. It's, chaps, I don't know what I can do. I don't know what the play is here. I don't. I... Why would you give him the Kiev? No. You don't understand. Like, the second I lose one more of these wars, it's over. Like, the second, the second that happens... It, we can't. I've already given away too much territory to the Ottomans initially. Uh, it, yeah, impossible. Come on, man. You have to win the siege. You have to. You have to. Thank you. I can't scorch the earth because I don't own it. That's stupid. It's my vassal's land. And the main issue is Warsaw's going to keep falling. There's going to be a way to win this. There will be. I just need to figure out how. Okay, that's a nice win. We need men. The right side, Kazan, seems to be doing not so great against uh, the old Muscovy. Uh, let's not take this because I'm going to need to do that. Ah, uh, When did we get the free company? 97. Yeah, they've assaulted it. They're going to take it back immediately. Cool. And now they hate me. That's fun. Inflation. Yay. There's no shot out of all the things. Poland is going to be the thing to kill me. I need the money off of this. Okay, Icon lost. I need to get it back immediately. I need If I get a disciplined guy, I think we win this war. Kiev, buddy, I need you to stay close because you're getting stack wiped a lot. Like a lot. I, I Oh, we breached the walls. Uh, okay. I guess I'll be here then. Kiev, buddy, just don't do that. Can't see. Please stop. Okay. Instead, low. Uh, side with the clergy. Uh, okay, let's grab this. That 5% discipline is going to be big. If I can get that. And if I can do that, excellent. I don't know what to do, man. There's not really any good options for me. <laughs> oh, Muscovy, please. Watch him bring in Lithuania now. <sighs> Literally on the crossroads of empire. It's, I mean, it's a horrible place to be. I just don't understand what Kiev's doing. I mean, their best would be one answer, but it's not very good. It's actually a good place to win that siege. <laughs> Kiev dies once more. In other news, grass is green. He said it's supportive, but already is. He already is set supportive. Come on, catch him here. Catch him. Where are you going, Luau? There you go. That's damaging to him. Okay, we are going to detach our mercenaries now and siege for a sec just to try and drive down his war exhaustion a little bit. What do you have a Renaissance thought? Sure, let's grab that. I dig. I'm actually going to go for another military idea. I, I mean, uh, I, I don't know what else to do. We don't really make enough money to do anything else. What do you, chat, what do you think? Quantity ideas? We just don't, I mean, sure, we don't have the money for it really. What are, what are you doing here? Norway are attacking Poland in the Swedish succession war. What the hell does that mean? Sweden is a junior partner of Poland. What? The f... It's okay. Late, late. Don't get angry. The game wants you to get, get angry. It wants you to get angry. Oh my... Yeah, it'd love for you to get angry right now. Okay. Free war taxes. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. It's okay. Everything's okay. You're safe. You're safe. You're in your own home. You can shut down the game whenever you like. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. People will, find it, people will find it very funny. Don't get angry. You're good. Everything's okay. Kiev, no. Kiev has killed himself so many times, man. It is kind of the stupidest thing I've seen. Ah! Uh, influence is not going to help. Trade is not going to help because we can't reach the goddamn trade nodes usually. So we, like, we make nothing off of trade. I think I'm going to go... I, I think I'm going to go quality ideas, man. Just make our troops better? Yeah, screw it. We're going to have the best goddamn troops in the business. I need land out of this, man. No two ways about it. Oh, cool. The Swedes are here. That's very fun. <laughs>
We're going to call on Halas's. I mean, what are we holding out for here? We could just peace out. 50%. Sweden, uh, yeah. Well, the war's done, so Sweden's now down here. Oof. Our troops are good. I'll tell you that much. Our troops are very, very good. All right, let's uh, let's try and get some extra war score here. See what we can do. Our troops are actually insane. All right, I think this is basically it. As far as... Uh... Oh, getting stability. Lovely. Positive stability for the first time in this game, I think. This is realistically it. That's as good as it's going to get. Well, unless, like, we'll start getting some mad diminishing returns. So for this, we're going to get war operations. We're going to get cash. We're going to get some provinces. Uh... <laughs> so we're going to take four provinces here. Yeah, 100% isn't really going to help us. It'll be just be four more provinces. And I need to get out of this war. Okay, there we go. Pay our loans. Damn near, like, got rid of all our loans, which is nice. We have some churn of separatists. That's okay. And lose stability. Yeah, thanks, game. I can't believe we actually won that. I haven't, I haven't had a moment to, like, sit down and decompress what the hell just happened. Who's going to attack me next? That's the, that's the thing. Get half price piece of to take Sweden next time. I, I want you to know what I've been through. And I want you to know how much I've suffered to be where I am. We were we we fought off the Ottomans, the Poles, Crimea, uh, uh, the Ottomans again, Lithuania. We fought off everyone, all in. I haven't declared. I declared what like two offensive wars. I declared once against Lithuania at the start and once against Circassia. Since then, I have not declared a single offensive war. This is all defensive. I've defensively expanded the entire time. Black Sea Fleet, Black Sea Domination. Hopefully, will be a thing. Let's ally the Muscovites again. Why not? That's looking a lot friendlier for me to fight. That's looking a lot friendlier. Okay, we've got four years until these warnings uh, expire. When that happens, we have to fight the Great Horde. I'm hoping... Well, we'll see. Here's what I hope will happen. I hope that the... What's the ideal? That no one rewarns me. That I can declare war on the Great Horde and Lithuania at the same time. That will break up with Poland, Lithuania, and I can take some land off him. Or, like, I can take some money off him, right? That's step one. Then I can declare war on Kazan uh, and take back the Horde's courts. Those, those are my two aspirational, like, aims. Uh. <laughs> Leith and his addiction to Muscovy is unhealthy. Leith crawling back to Muscovy like an abused wife. He's the only person that, like, will ally me. I don't have any other choices. No one else will love me. Venice might, but they got their asses kicked, so they're irrelevant. Bohemia is an option. Hungary is also an option. Let's go Hungary. Hungary is an option. Let's go for Hungary, I think. Although, let's go for both. We'll go for Hungary and Bohemia. Okay, we finished our offensive ideas. So that's good. I'm going to be losing money for a little while until I finish this out. This stuff. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're making money, lads. Oh, don't do it, man. Please. Don't. Ottomans, don't. Don't do it. The thing is, I think it might be worse if the uh, if the Hungarians join us. Because then we'll lose war score and the Ottomans will get stronger in a war against Hungary. Whereas we've been able to beat the Ottomans on our own. Kinda. Colonialism. Yay. Right, is there anyone else like an ally? Provence. Burgundy apparently is a thing. Mamluks is minus 44. Okay. Mamluks. No. Persia, like maybe, let's try that, France, Castile, anyone, yeah, all my rivals are rivaled, and then also rival to me, so I can't actually do anything about that, this sucks, but I can't afford to have less than zero stability, <laughs> this is horrendous, oh, how is Caravan still alive, probably because they're allied to the Mamluks, yeah, and Persia, so one loan. We actually don't have that much debt, which is shocking, considering we are just, like, constantly at war. I'd like to thank the, uh, the economies of the Ottomans, Poland, Lithuania, and also Crimea, uh, for making sure that I don't, you know, starve to death. Theodoro has to have two buildings. I have not had a chance to play tool yet. And then that'll give me permanent claims. My name will be changed to Gothia, which I really want. We're going to be allied to someone. What does that mean? Capital trade province power at least 20. Someone, can someone de decipher this for me? Thank you. I'm actually building. 
Look like all your three big neighbors would be better off if they didn't attack you. I mean, yeah, and yet they still do. Yeah, that's not working. Okay. Holland, Hungary, France. So why is France that opposed to me? It's just distance. <sighs> the warning's going to end soon. I think the warning has ended. So now we've got to just wait for this warning. March 1502. Okay. Let's core everything up. And let's get ready to fight this lot. All right, if my diplomats are free, they should be currying favors. Seals taken out Aragon. England, that's a disgusting sight. Okay, what else should I be doing? Chat, am I missing something? Sombreros, dude, you've got to stop with Sombreros. What does this mean? Capital, at least one center trade level two. Attack AQ, again, they are a vassal. Which, I, which is a little bit better, we're a little bit better off this time. I want to do this properly. Okay, this should mean the Black Sea Fleet can be done. Which is going to create a level one center of trade. Now, all the following must be true. Allied with Genoa and monthly income at least 10. Province trade power at least 20. Well, that's because my capital isn't Theodoro, is it? Check AQ out. AQ out like, Allied. They're, they're vassal states, so it doesn't matter. I don't, I can't think. Okay, we have to take advantage of this guy. Although, uh, uh, our air is even better. Ken really lucky with the generals. We have complete defense fighters, though, to be fair. We need this to happen. The warning ends this year. I think it has ended. Yeah, so now it's just us. We can fight Lithuania. So the idea is we'd fight the Great Horde of Lithuania. We vassalize the Great Horde. We just duff up Lithuania. And then we would go and fight Kazan. That's my idea. That's that's the big that's the big plan. They're tech six. Yeah, okay, this is a brilliant idea. This is this is genius. This is this is this is how we win. This is how this is how we do it. Free company is what we need to get. Just to shore things up a little bit. Uh, let's trigger this lot. Or if the Otto's attacking again. I mean, what if uh, the sky turns blue? We it turns green. I don't. We can't do anything. We gotta just. We gotta move. We have to do something. Like to stay still is to die. Finally, an offensive war. Honestly, I missed. Damn. That sucks. Okay, I got him that time. What if the sky cancels blue? Okay, shut up. <laughs> you know exactly what I meant. So how many troops does he have? 20 something thousand. 30 thousand ish. 30 something thousand. So I need to kill this now. I don't know where he has 30 thousand troops. <sighs> it's gonna do an offensive war, get dragged into defensive one. Uh, let's not have let's not have these naysayers. No more naysaying. Naysaying is illegal in this channel. It's 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 banned. If you're a naysayer, you get banned immediately. Mods, stop banning naysayers. That's beautiful. That's just gorgeous. That's what we needed this entire time. Uh, let's get you guys to, to uh, siege. I just don't want him sneaking behind me and killing the... Uh... Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want. Ooh. He rolled a 9 to my 1. That's why that battle didn't go as well. This was still going to suck, by the way. It's not going to be like an easy like smash and grab. Mainly because of our manpower issues. Do I have my good general here? I don't have my good general. Oh, right, because he was my heir. Right, okay, that makes sense. And then I got rid of him. I kind of regret that now, because he was very, very good. He was a 5'6". Uh, a it doesn't really get better than that. All right, we're going for Vilnius now. I'd love to win the siege, like in your own time. Yeah, game? Thank you. So how much do I need? 45%. Kind of sucks he's running through my lands right now. Don't win that. Please don't win that. Like he's not even reinforcing his own troops. He knows. He knows. Where are you going? Kizzle Yar. Alright, let's go take the rest of this land back. Oh man, that's a shame. I could have gone in on him there. Ah, oh, screw it. We'll try. This could be bad. I shouldn't have done that. That's a mistake. That's a big mistake. Like, it wasn't necessary is the key part there. Okay, sweet. So we get ourselves war operations. We get ourselves the Annihilating Alliance. I could go for 100% and go for um, Humiliate as well, but... I don't really want to do that. It's not necessary. Thank you. Okay, that's that done. Now with the Great Horde, I am going to make him my vassal. I was a monarch there. That's something I should have thought about. Okay, we're going to rival the Poles. How's our inflation doing? It's okay. Right. Gather the troops. For now, we almost have the numbers for this. He's tech 8. We're also tech 8. I think I want to wait for tech 9. Then we'll go for it. Where are the bugs? Got some Diplo Power plus one. I thought we were meant to have like fertility, man. Charles and you air. What's all this about? 
So when's your truce with Muscovy? 1508. This will give us a chance to get some uh, some well-needed things together. So we have money. Let's start trying to work our way down here. So for this, we know capital, I think, to be Theodora. Um, at least one central trade level two. Okay, move capital to Theodora, get 40% trade power in the trade, no boom, that's it. Yep, okay, well that's, uh, I'm, I'm going to struggle with that. All right. I'm definitely going to struggle with that. Into the steps. Do we permanent claims and stuff over here? Merchants plus one. My god. That's great. If I have what? I need Sarai. I can do that. I could have Sarai. I'm going to cry. Why are you domineering? Brother, what changed? Oh, it's because I introduced an heir. That's why he's domineering. Yeah, I messed up. Um, just so you know. Because Hungary is now going to get rid of his alliance with me. Because I introduced this heir. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. Because he's going to be domineering. Because he has a cast spell out on me. I, I hate that. I hate that a lot. That's terrifying. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Dude, I messed up so badly. He's domineering. I messed up so badly, chat. So badly. It's over part 56. Who's Kazan allied to? Only Piapa. So they lost their alliance with uh, Uzbek. Just like I am about to lose my alliance with uh, with the Hungarians. They broke their alliance. They broke their um, marriage with me. <sighs> I just, I like, with that one click, I screwed myself. Because I was relatively safe with the Hungarians until I introduced an heir. Oh, Sicily form, that's nice. Mother, you don't get to do that to me. You don't get to do that to me. It's part 16 of, of, uh, of Muscovy breaks the alliance. Let's move this back here. So now we need to have province trade power at least 20 or 40%. I don't know how to get them to stop being domineering. So it'll be after this, so it'll be after, so we've got 20 years to wait this out. And then they'll no longer be domineering. Okay, let's see, the free company are currently recovering. I back this, you know. Wait, did Circassia's cause run out? No, they're still there, okay. They're not loyal, which is nice. Okay, with the Clarion War. I think I need to get another mercenary lot, so I'm doing it. The Grey Horde is immediately collapsing. Okay, I'm risking the free company here in order to... Nope, didn't work. Say in order to stop that siege from happening, but it did not. Did not occur like that in the slightest. All right, we'll just take Belgium. In. That's fine. We're actually making money still. I'm shocked at the strength of our economy. It's not be that strong for much longer, but you know. Please win, Belgium. Please, please, please. Thank you. All right, let's switch you guys out to supportive. And now we need to take as many battles as possible. Whilst we have the advantage... They did not want to take one there, but that's fine. Okay, another government form. Land to the monasteries. Uh, that's not great. Balance of power, expandable rights. Curtail clergy. We're going to curtail it, just get that religious unity. Whew. So we're going to take this super slow. You can see that army down there, that's fine. We should win this before he wins that. Okay. 42% versus 7, we should still win. Come on. Nice. That's perfect. So now what I'm doing is I am going to put my navy here. So what I've done here is I've trapped him in this area. He can't leave now. He's stuck and I can stack off him very easily. Unless he takes both sides of the strait. Uh, in fact, attach you... No, I need... Attach you to the independent army. Attach you to... Three companies attached. The one who unites the roads have to attach to the independent army. There we go. Okay. I think I'm going to go direct for Kazan. The Apus is down there. That's fine. We'll sort them out soon. I'm going to go for his capital. Don't know where these other troops are. As long as you stack one, a couple. Okay, you guys should be on supportive. You are. So now they should come and attach to me. They do. Alright, let's go fight the Kazanis. A 3-2 versus our 4-5. And we have a military numerical advantage. Fantastic. See, lack of manpower, not really a problem when you don't have any, uh... We just use mercenaries the entire time. Where are you going? You lost to something, is it? Are there rebels or something here? Should I take the gold province? Oh god, true support. Oh boy. It looks like the Kazan AI has just given up, uh, which is nice to see. Ooh, what's happened here? Did Purger attack him? 
Persia's attack is on as well. Okay, nice. That means we need to run down and get our cores. The question is, what do we want to take from this war? This has been one of my favorite games I've ever done. Just because of how, like, against the odds it's been the entire, the entire time. Like, it's been phenomenal. What a journey. Okay, what do we need for this? Into the steps, we need Sarai. And then Seven Promises. Which I think we're gonna get. Princess just died. It's a shame. Go on, get in there, boys! Yes! Well done, lads. Well done. Very proud of you. Hungary declared war on Austria. The conquest. Alright, taking out two of his armies. Kiev's hopefully gonna take this out. Alright, more military it is. We've got ourselves diplomatic reputation. Some Crimean separatists. That'll be fine. How much longer do we have in this war? That's kind of a fort I want to take, to be honest. This is a good fort. It would be a nice, like, spring point for something else, like, heading into Iran or something. Because it's a mountain fort. And then if we're fighting the Ottomans, we can lock off both sides here. So we'd get, like, a fort here. Probably a fort here, so it's a capital fort, and then a fort here. I think that works nicely. Then we get Sarai for the mission. Oh, don't take that. Don't be annoying. You take it, he did. He immediately took it. Uh, inflation less than 5%. I, I mean, I'm trying. There's Bashkirid. Kiev is done. That's 95%. I think that's it. So we take 288 dug kits to pay off our loans. 320 of those. Take a bunch of land. Bang. And we are good to go. Into the steps. We get a bunch of claims. Freedom of the states. The states privilege. We'll give minus two unrest in step provinces. And we get heart of the steps. Giving us merchants plus one. Our crowning campaign was a major success. And we've dealt with two birds using one stone. Now it's time to to push even deeper into step territory using our now seasoned warriors to bring us victory. I hope that gives us another. Ooh, Tartar Mocha's. <laughs> Tartar Yoke has been removed <laughs> from Muscovy. Oh. oh, that's good stuff. Oh, that's very funny. Oh, thank you, I needed that. It's nice to laugh. No wonder they always broke. Yeah, they're getting raided every couple of seconds. They hate me. I don't care, man. So for this, we can do Restoration of the Union in Kasabali on the highest developed Russian monarchy, which means Muscovy. So, we could fight the Muscovites. That's what I've been angling for this entire time, and put them under a personal union. This is, we might be put like really slowly but surely, just yanking ourselves to the future. Fantastic. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to pee you Muscovy so they never deny a call to arms ever again. All right. Russian aristocracy, so we get that, and we get a Russian claim, which would give us total development at least 150, nice, so that's going to give us, ooh, nice stuff, and then Palace of the Tsars, annexing our personal union nation will become 20% cheaper, that's great, or we can let them form Russia. Okay, so, a bit of a, bit of an interesting one, definitely have to fight for every single step of the way, uh, from, what, defending against the Ottomans twice, uh, fighting Poland, fighting Lithuania, fighting uh, what, Crimea. It, it, it's, been a, it, it's been a hell of a ride. So I think we're going to leave it there, but I'm not done with Theodoro. We are going to be doing this whole Russian aristocracy and getting the Russian claim thing and then going to be attacking uh, the Muscovites, getting ourselves that restoration union uh, and seeing what we can do about finally taking a step into the future that's of our own making instead of being attacked constantly. Uh, we have some good forts now, and I think we're going to start launching into maybe some Karakuni land. And if we fight the Ottomans again, we'd only have to fight on this front. And Tunis has come back, which is nice. All right, so thank you very much, everyone who's watching the stream. Uh, please make sure to put, leave a comment after the stream is done and like the stream. It does help me out a lot. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Prilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOw52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.